Hi guys, this is Juno and welcome back to another account review in Summoner's War. Today we are on Crush's account. This account is pretty old. The account owner did take a lot of breaks and he came back recently on September of 2021 and has been working on this account super hard since. He slowly progressed and did hit C3. That's what he told me um, due to my second turn team suggestions in Arena, so that's great. He said he was able to hit G1, but due to the fact that he's from East Coast, he can't really rush, so he has never ended G1+. Plus. The next things that he wants to get done is to get a G1 plus record in Arena and also get a gold star in RTA, meaning that his final record was... F3 and also he wants some pointers on which dungeons to grind next and we'll know that by his runes and maybe some advice in AD because his defense rate for his current one is really bad. So we'll take a look at all of these and see if there are some good pointers that I could give him and I hope with those pointers that he can progress into the game. <laughs> Hey guys, before we start the video, if you guys are interested in getting advice and help from me and other Summoner's War players, feel free to join my Discord where the link is in the descriptions below. Also, if you enjoy my content and want to support me, become a Patreon where the link for it is also in the descriptions. I want to say I appreciate all the support and believe me, I really do. Anyways, that was it. Let's get back to the video. So if we take a look at his profile, He's been playing for 2,600 days. He has reached C3 like I have stated in the intro, but he is only F3 in RTA. He's doing 2 on number 2 hard, that's great. I'm pretty sure he's doing all the dungeons. He also has a BJR5 team, so everything is in place for him to progress. Let's take a look at his monster box. Do you have an LD Nat 5? I don't see one, but I see a Kinky, which is a very good AD unit. He has the Leo, so I guess that's what he means by um, the second turn team that I suggested in multiple videos. He's taking advantage of that. He has the Carnal, he has the Poseidon, so very uh, good units for AD and AO. Any other notable units here? Savannah, okay. Uh, and the Artemel, okay, another Artemel user. Interesting because I have another account after review today, and that person also has the Artemel. I think he could go multiple routes for his AD, and we'll talk about it when we get to Arena. Let's take a look at his runes. So let's take a look at Swift Speed. So 25 slot 1, then 20, 24, 23 on slot 3, 19 slot. Four. So that's a really weak slot right there. 21, 20, another weak slot for 5. And then 6 is another 19. So his Swift Runes overall is very weak. The only ones that are okay is slot 1 and 3. So I would say GB12 is a good candidate dungeon for you to for you to focus on. But we'll see the Violent and Will Runes as well. Slot 1 for Violent 20, so that's a really weak slot for Violent Runes. Slot 3 is 23. Slot 4 is 26, so that's a fast one. And then a 21. 22 on Slot 5. And finally, a 26 flat rune, so that's not really a usable rune, right? But this one is 23. Violent Runes are a slightly better, like by a small margin. But both runes need improvement. Well, I'll leave it to the end after I take a look at the will runes. 25 slot 1, 27, okay, and then 20 on slot 3, 15, wow, that's a really weak slot for slot 4, 23 for slot 5, and finally a 26. So in terms of a, a, a rune perspective, Will runes look the strongest, however, it has the weakest slot, which is slot 4. So I hope that you chose a will rune for one of your event runes, because that slot 4 needs to get an improvement. And then your violent and swift runes look pretty much the same. If I have to give it a score, probably the violent runes is slightly better. But I would argue 
both rune sets need improvement. And looking at your box, I do think you will benefit getting more violent runes. However, due to the fact that you have an Artemel, I wouldn't look past GB12 because you do want the despair runes that could get the Artemel on, on, on 100 res and hitting hard. So that's a good dungeon to still farm because while you're getting the despair runes, you can still get the swift runes. MB12 might be a good one too just by the fact that you could get the destroy runes that are good subsets for the Artemel, the, kink, the Kinky, so on and so forth. I don't think there's a wrong answer here. I would farm any of the three dungeons, just farm the one that you like, improve on that set, those sets, and then move on to the next one. Uh, there is no wrong answers, but I do think all three rune sets need improvement, so let's leave it at that. Now let's go to the arena. And look at his AD. So this is the AD he's currently using. And I'm going to first point out things that's wrong. So Carnal's fine on Violent Will being this fast. The tankiness is okay, I guess. Overall, it's not like a terrible Carnal. Same with the Kinky. This is actually a pretty good Kinky on Despair on 100 res. But I did notice that putting Kinky on Violent is much better in Arena Defense. Because it looks like... Despair stuns just gets countered by will while as you can't predict the RNG that comes in with the violent procs So if your runes allow it, I will change the kinky to violent um, Destroy set I like and the hundred res is really good Clara is fine too and not that crazy fast, but I guess for your swift set I guess is the fastest that you could get her but overall I think I would not use Clara here and same with the aerial. This is really wrong This is the one unit that's really really wrong You put him on double nemesis will the rune set is fine But if you want your aerial to have a chance to cut He needs to be fast. He needs to be like plus 140 minimum and for really good aerials they're like plus 170 or plus 160 at the very least for for them to even have a chance to cut in between right now your aerial is never gonna cut i'll be surprised if you could cut and if you do it's not because your defense is good it's because their offense sucks i would work on improving your aerial but if i had to give you a recommendation I would actually use your Artemis lead because that's a 50% HP lead and also put in the Darien and finally put in the, the Triana that is not here, it's outside here. This is the type of team I would run. Ideally, if you had the runes for Artemel, he would be on 100 resistance, despair, will, despair, dis despair, destroy, despair, nemesis. I would actually go Despair Destroy, that's probably the best set, but it's always stats over sets, so if you can't get the crit rate, if you can't get the resistance, I would either go Despair Blade or Despair, Res Despair Endure to get the stats that you really want, and also have him to be really tanky. 100 res, 100 res is I think the minimum for this arena defense that I'm recommending. The Kinky again, what I recommend is the Violent Destroy build. Or whatever build that you need to put him on violent, I guess, with 100 resistance. Darien, I believe, will just be really, really tanky on 100 resistance. The, the revenge sets are great. However, if you can't get the set, if you can't get the stats with those sets, I would make sure just use the sets that will give you the stats and make him really tanky against 100 res. And finally, the Triano will be on violent will. It's probably the best set. On 100 resistance really tanky and by doing that there's so many RNG plays that could happen that will allow your defense to win against cleaves I will I'll try it out actually these are the type of defenses I have the hardest time with my chunk punk punk back team should win against these defenses a hundred percent if everything goes right however there's an the aspect of RNG there's the aspect of 100 resistance so even if one of these two units at the end here does not get defense broken or does not get reset then I am screwed for example let's say I don't defense break the, the Darien but I defense break the Triana. I have to now risk myself going for the Triana with the damage reduction that's coming in, in from the Darien, which overall reduces the damage output from my Pung back. Uh, that's one. Other thing is that they both resist, then you're just straight up screwed. Let's say if your Darien gets defense broken, but your Triana resists, then again, you can't Pung back the Darien because 
the Triana has the revive uh, or the passive, whatever you want to call it. So there are these RNG aspects that could really wreck your offense and it happened to me multiple multiple times i'm not just saying this from speculation it actually happens and i experience it my win rate is only 90 percent because 10 percent of the time i fail due to these rng and sometimes i only win due to the ai not working well or due to my lucky procs so if their ao is even worse than mine they'll have a harder time going through these defenses so I would try this defense and see how it works. Let me know. But the one minimal requirement is 100 resistance on everybody and really, really tanky. Especially the Darien because the Darien takes 30% extra damage, which is the downfall of this, of this unit. Let's take a look at the offense. There you go, the Christina offense. I love it. I love it. And he said he reached C3 the first time with my second turn team. I love it. I'm pretty sure it. I'm pretty sure it gives out a whole lot of damage. Look at that. 100 res, 100 accuracy. I like what you're doing. So yeah, there isn't much for me to say here. It looks like you followed exactly. Oh, hmm. Oh, not on double will. What's your victory rate? Yeah, 70 percent. I think you will lose if your Leo dies. And Trust me, your Leo dies a lot in a second turn team due to the fact that it gets defense broken and the cocky just one shots him. I think it's pretty much necessary for him to be on double will in the second turn team. Other than that, you don't have any other second turn team. I mean, I see these, but to me, this is not a second turn cleave. It's more of a second turn bruiser, and these take forever to win. I I want to believe that you're using that you're using this for interstellar, so I'm not gonna talk too much about that. This is a um, Mephisto, okay. Hmm, it looks like that's the only real cleave that you have with something like this. That's a fast cleave that you're not even using. I guess this is the fast cleave you're currently using right now. Yeah, looks like it. So this is going first. Defense break, and then, actually this is going last. This is going and then the cocky. Okay, that's fine too. It's just that you can't go against really tanky, I mean really fast teams. You're just going against the tanky teams. So knowing that you don't have like a Tiana, I think the team that you're currently running, your offense you're currently running is the best. If anything, I would build like an Aquila and go for like a second turn bomber team because those are pretty strong as well since i did see you have a sierra plus you have a second bomber i believe or am i mistaken i'm pretty sure you have a second bomber like cn or something right no no cn no malaka is it out here oh there you go the cn okay you have the cn so you could definitely go a second turn team bombing bombing team, which is also very strong. Oh, you have also the Dover, which is also a very good bomber. I'll just make the change in the defense and see how it goes. For RTA, so again, another player that's just picking out way too many units to be playing with. Look at your Swift runes, you're not going first turn. So I'm going to take some units out that I believe you don't have to be using. So this is a lot, but I'm just I'm just showing you what your box will look like as a second turn team because second turn teams technically do need a little more units due to the fact that you're building units to counter certain teams or certain units. Um, I noticed that you didn't have an Antares and I would really suggest you building one because there is a very good chance that you'll meet Diana's in RTA. Um, but other than that, um, I would go like this in total. I would try First picking the Riley because Riley is a core unit for second turn teams and then I would build either the Carnal or well, I'll go either with the Carnal or the like Masha because there is a lot of Oliver first picks and if they do pick Oliver first pick Masha is a very good pick you could have, at that point even go an Antares if you believe in RNG. I have to rely on RNG a lot of times, so I love the Antares. I know there's a lot of people that don't, but oh well, you have to use what you have. A uh, triple revenge road is really good against Chung Pungs or you know C or control AoE control. Um the Bulwark is very, very good against a lot of beneficial effects. 
the, you have your own Oliver, so you could try and trick them into going first turn by first picking Oliver. However, know that some people will fight speed with speed. So even with the Oliver first pick, they might try to go first turn, and then you'll just need to figure out what you'll be countering their picks that they pick out. But taking the Oliver is not a bad choice. It's just that if you do take the Oliver, it is it is beneficial to be taking strippers, which you don't really have much of. You have the Higging, you have the Praha, which is two water strippers. I don't see a fire stripper here, nor a wind stripper other than the Sagar, which are and the Savannah, which are single target strips. Maybe you need you want to be pulling like a Juno, which would be very, very beneficial, or even the Ethna, another single target strip. Or just something else that has AOE strip, such as the Chung Pong, or you know whatever LD95 that you could get. I think Artemil will be a very good last pick. Uh, I still think Artemil is strong in certain cases uh, because crit rate is still a very strong aspect of the game. Yes, there are a lot of units now that don't crit and strive without critting, but. The latter is still true, right? A lot of units still strive with a lot of crit and their their team is drafted around that. So I believe if you see a lot of people that crit and they don't have too much damage, I think Artemel is a good pick, especially if they're going like a cleave type where they all crit. Usually fast teams have weaker bodies and Artemel will definitely wreck those kind of teams. I believe that you should make a triple revenge vert and not a swift vert knowing that your swift set is not that fast anyways and you also do not have a lot of units that is good for the swift vert team such as the chung pong, the jogun, like the key water chimera or I mean you do have the poseidon which goes with it but I just think that you need a little more uh, than the units that, I, that I'm currently seeing but the real reason is that your swift sets are too slow so I'll just change this vert to a triple revenge vert and Try to pick it out when you see the opportunity and also try to fit in a Leo in there as well. Especially if you see a lot of Beast Riders. I met so many Narshas this past RTA. I only played like 200 games and I think I met at least 20, 30 Narshas in those matches. And it was really annoying because I was going a Swift Ver team. So I did not have the opportunity to pick out the Leo. Uh, it might just be me because I did see some people still picking out Leo with the Swift Ver team. But... Nonetheless, I think it's much easier and you have a higher chance of winning if you could bring out the Swift Vert team when you have Sustain and other units that uh, that benefit from, from its passive where you are taking the same amount of turns as the opponent when you are much slower than them. So if you're slower than the opponent, it's beneficial to have the Leo there because you are in equal grounds and it is much, much worse for the opponent if they're like a super fast team and the Leo gets to stay in the field because now their speed is wasted. Which in fact, fast teams have to give a lot of emphasis into speed so their other stats are relatively lower. Again, Kinky kind of serves the same purpose as the Artemel goes against a lot of critting units. Due to the fact that he can't get crit means that all the emphasis that those players put in those units to crit are now lost. These two picks will be very good last picks against units that crit. The Riley, Lulu, Wusa, you know, even the Vigor are all units that are there for sustain. Veramos is a counter pick for a lot of control, like the Neftis. I think you won't use a lot of this, but you might use like a Praha or the Tessarion. You bring out the CN if they don't have Will. Hey gang, if you see Gianna. But yeah, this is the type of team I'll play. I'll learn how to adapt to the opponent and their picks. And it will take a lot of games. It will take a lot of games. You will have to learn through those games and figure out what picks needs to be done when you're meeting certain comps. Looks like you played 230 games last season and the best score you got was when you played 400 games with a 47% win rate. From this win rate, it looks like you should be where you're at, F3, but I want to believe that it was because you weren't drafting the correct team, you were bringing in teams that don't synergize with each other, or you weren't simply banning the correct unit. So I hope that 
you have a certain focus, knowing that you're going second turn, make picks. Like Riley will be your center pick, and once they pick their first two, after that you could pick out units to counter them. And by doing that, I hope your win rate goes up. But that is it guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know if I gave a lot of beneficial or correct pointers for this account, but I definitely think that his runes need a lot more work and I, I stand by the point where all of his runes need work and improving any of those sets will improve his account overall. I wouldn't go back and forth in different dungeons, I'll just focus on one until you are satisfied with the improvement that you got and then move on to the next dungeon. Obviously along that time be doing BGR5 if you need to because you might find a usable rune here and there and you might need the grinds for it. Um, for arena defense, please try that LND defense because I just think that is really really strong. There's so much RNG that needs to come into play and Yes, if the opponent gets everything they want then they'll probably win However, if there's even one thing that they miss there's a good chance that you could uh, beat that offense Arena offense. I'm very happy with what you're doing. I like that second turn team and I know that I said I'm overall happy and I also saw uh, this offense however you could make another second turn team similar to what you have made what you've made here but you know the without the Leo and I believe I have the video without the Leo without the Leo and maybe s incorporate your your Xeros because Xeros is an AOE AOE uh, reset which is very beneficial and I believe that you have a you'll probably have another AOE damage dealer that could clean up after after the after the Zeros resets, so I will make a a team like that as well, and also the second turn bomb team if you remember. RTA I already gave a very thorough explanation on that. So if there's anything else that you guys would like to know, or if you guys don't agree with the comments that I gave this account, please put a comment below. Let me and the account owner know. So. Um, if I have the chance, I will reply to those questions or your thoughts. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.